Time. Wait, so uh, do, you, do you need to find uh, coefficient of friction? Or? So, 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 uh, coefficient of friction or full friction force? Friction force acting on it should be what? So that it rolls without slipping. Is it 5 mg when you are? More than mg. No. R so is it 5G sin theta by 2R? Oh, 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 no, 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 so upwards, upwards, upwards so, yeah. so that it start rolling like this. Yeah. You have to look at the rotation as well. This is the force of friction. Okay? Any other force that we have missed? No other force, right? So which for do are you seeing any fixed axis? Bottommost point is instantaneously at rest. But at times, we don't feel comfortable treating at this as a fixed axis. So we'll apply torque to alpha about the center of mass. So which force has a torque about center of mass? Yeah, mg no. passes through the center of mass or not? Yeah. Yeah. So torque due to mg is? Zero. zero. Torque due to normal direction? Zero. zero. Only friction will have torque. So if friction is not present, alpha can never happen. Alpha can never be there. It will just slide down. It will not rotate because torque will be zero about center of mass. Okay? So, R into FR is a torque about center of mass. This should be equal to what? 2 by 5? 2 by 5 MR square. So, into alpha. So, FR is 2 by 5 M alpha into R. Now, this is rolling without slipping on a fixed surface. Alpha into R is ACM. We have done that. Right? So, friction will be equal to 2 by 5 M into A center of mass. Okay? Now, I have to find ACM. Okay? So, if I take component of Mg, stop talking, Mg sin theta minus FR is equal to what? M into A. Right? I will substitute friction value over there. So I will get mg sin theta minus 2 by 5 M into A. This M is gone. 7 by 5 A. So A is 5 by 7 G sin theta. Understood? Yeah. Yeah. This is efficient of center of mass. This when you substitute over there, you will get force of friction to be equal to 2 by 7 mg sin theta. 2 by 7 mg sin theta. This is what they call rolling friction. Only this much friction is required for it to roll without slipping. The maximum possible friction is mu into normal reaction which, is, which happens because of sliding. And if it is rolling without slipping, this much will be the friction acting on it, which is very less. Any doubts? 
so we, we can also do this by balancing torque about that point at the bottom. Right? There is no balance torque. Yeah, so it's over there. Uh, so about this, you can write a torque. Mg sin theta into R yeah. is equal to moment of inertia about this axis into alpha. Oh, yeah, you can't use about that axis yes. moment of inertia. That's why, okay. okay. But then don't do like that. Because it up, it is a fixed axis, but it doesn't appear to be a fixed axis. So every time where you do like that, you will not be feeling in control of the problem. Any other doubt? So what is the moment? You can't parallel axis still. Yeah, parallel axis from Lara, 2 by 5 mR square plus mR square. So that's okay. Any, no doubt, right? Okay, here is the next question. If you get this question correct, you'll get two minutes break. Five, five. Actually, let's see. One person gets one minute break. Five person get it, five minutes break. Ten, ten minutes. Twenty, twenty minutes. I will know if somebody copies. So should I speak? Yes, sir. Okay, so when you look at from this side, it appears like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. My God, it's not dark. It's a cylinder from the middle, another small cylinder comes out. Okay, the this is a string which is wrapped around a smaller cylinder which is fixed on the bigger cylinder. Are you okay? Huh? So this how is... What happened? How, how, how do you fix it up? Yeah. Are, a big sa log, liya, wooden log. Hai? You removed this material from the wooden log. Then you left with this kind of structure, na? Yes. Uh -huh. It's a, it's line agar hata do, now it will feel... Okay, okay, sir, but where are you? All two, let's call it a Fibi call, let's call it a Fibi call. Sir, both are like normal. Both are cylinder only. See, total mass is given and complete radius 2R is given. So, moment of energy is M into 2R square by 2. Okay? Cylinder here. Are you getting it? Oh, so you don't need to add up each one. How is... Um... Actually, yeah, it will not be m into 2r square by 2. So then you'll have to you can say that, see, here, velocity. let me tell you the radius of gyration. The radius of gyration is, let's say, k. I haven't taught radius of gyration. Kuch nahi hota, yaar. See, radius of gyration is... See, are seriously? If, if radius of gyration is k, moment of energy is m into k square. Oh, okay. So, radius of variation of a ring is what? R only. For a disc, it is R by root 2. Because M into K square should be equal to moment of inertia. Are you getting it? So, radius of variation is K. So, moment of inertia is M into K square. Okay, thanks sir. Okay? Chalo. Moment of inertia about this. So, radius of variation about this axis is given. Which is? Huh. Radius of variation is K about that axis. You need to find out to be alpha A and what is force of friction. <coughs> so it's, it's Just write down the equation like this. That's all I want. So it's, it's not slipping. No slipping. No slipping. With the word string said something about it. String is getting pulled. String is wrapped around here and it is pulled at an angle theta with the horizontal rotation. Huh? Ah, if F is very large, but F is not that large.
can that thing slide on the floor? No. Can it slide on the floor? There is no slipping. There is no slipping. It is pure rolling. Rolling without slipping. So, so roll backwards. You attempt it, no? If you assume rolling without slipping, the bottom of point should be at rest. Just write down the equations. You don't need this equation, the vertical direction, normal direction. Ah, it's correct. No one else. So this. Mu n. Why are you taking mu n as friction? It is not mu n. Friction need not be mu n. It is just sufficient for it to have pure rolling. Mu n is when sliding happens. It is rolling. Rolling friction will be applied. Ah, what who else? No one else. I'll write down. Check, compare both. So just I just change mu and deflection then it's okay. <laughs> so because then everything will remain the same. I didn't use mu. Oh, so tension is wrong. Wait, no, sir. I thought torque due to friction was wrong. Torque due to tension is wrong. Tension should be uh, because it has to rotate. See, at times you will. Guys, listen, listen, listen. 
Right then what will happen is that you will start wondering how it is rolling, where is the friction applied. Chup rahe ga front desk pe ke baat kar rahe What I am saying is that at times you will worry about how it is rotating, where the direction of friction and all that. What I am saying is don't worry about that. You should be consistent. That's all. You can assume any direction. You can assume any direction of force or friction. But when you write down the equation, you should not equate force in this direction to mass and acceleration of that direction. Similarly, torque, clockwise torque, you should not equate to I of alpha of anti-clockwise. Are you getting what I am trying to say? You can assume any direction of friction, any direction of whatever you can, as long as you are maintaining consistency. Because torque into I alpha doesn't tell you that friction direction should be this and that. All it tells you that you should be consistent with applying the equation. Are you getting it? So, let's assume friction is this way. I don't know which way it is. So, I'll assume any which way. There is the friction direction. If my assumption is wrong, friction magnitude will come out to be negative. Okay? So, don't break your head on which direction the friction is. Yeah, friction area, that's all. So, if I write net force along x direction is equal to mass and acceleration, I get F cos theta minus friction is equal to what? M into A cm vertical direction I will not write because unnecessary normal reaction will come in play. Torque equation is what? Torque due to F is what? F into? Cos. F into R. Simply F into R. Because entire force is perpendicular to this distance. Right? For, to find the component of force, you have to use F cos theta. But in order to find torque, you have to write force into R. Ajay, by the way, if... Yeah. I will not request again and again to keep quiet. I will just throw you out. Okay? And there is a counter in my head. Okay? So, I will slowly and slowly become sarcastic and then there will be a limit. I, I am not that sarcastic, right? There is a limit up to which then I have to ask you to. While I am telling here, you should maintain silence. When I am asking you to solve problem, then you can discuss. But when I am teaching something here, you should be quiet. This is ACM, alright? Then this is angular acceleration alpha. Why I should take angular acceleration alpha like this? No, sorry, it will be like that. It should be like this, alpha. Why should I take like that? The reason? Only then it will. Only then this point can be at rest. Only then alpha into R this way and ACM that way. Getting it? Everywhere there should be consistency. So, F into R is torque in this way, but alpha is in opposite direction, so minus F into R. Getting it? Then, plus friction into 2R. This is a total torque about the center of mass. Okay? This should be equal to ICM, which is M into K square times alpha. Okay? Right? So, you can solve this and alpha is equal to A by R. This is also constraint equation, rolling without slipping. Alright? A by 2R. A is equal to alpha into 2R. Sorry. Okay? Okay? So, after the break, we will derive torque equal to I alpha. Then, then what we will have, we have angular momentum left, conservation of energy left. Then, let's see, we can start angular momentum probably. Come in 10, 15 minutes.